Hello friends, this is Dheeraj Mehta and today I am going to share with you my first slide on mixing. What is pharmaceutical mixing? In this video, I will share with you what is the different different mixers used in pharmaceutical industry and what is the advantage of it, what is the disadvantage of it, construction, working of mixers, what do you mean by mixing, what are the type of mixing and in second video I will share with you liquid mixing, semi-solid mixings. It, mixing is the very biggest topics and if everywhere in pharmaceutical industry it is, really use, it is very useful for every student to know about the mixing. So please watch my video. If you are not subscribing my video channel, please my video channel name is Pharma Professional Community. Please subscribe, like and share with your all friends. Please watch my video. This is Dheeraj Mehta and this is the first part of pharmaceutical mixing, mixing of solid presented by me, Pharma Professional Community. What is mixing? Mixing the term mix means to put together in one mass or assemblage with more or less through diffusion of the constituent among one another. Type of mixing Mixing of solid, mixing of liquid, mixing of miscible liquid, mixing of semi-solid. What is blending? The term blending means to mix smoothly and inseparably together. Some of the mixing operation in the dispensing practice are spatulation, trituration, Geometric dilution. Characteristic of particle: size, shape, volume, surface area, density, porosity, flow property, charges. Classification of material: depend upon flow property of solids are derived into two material: cohesive material, non-cohesive materials. What is cohesive material? Cohesive material as wet clay are characterized by their resistance to flow through opening. What is non-cohesive material? Non-cohesive material such as grain, dry sand and plastic chips readily flow out of a beam or silo. Mechanism of solid-solid mixing. First, convective mixing. Second, shear mixing. Third, diffusive mixing. Convective mixing. A large mass of material moves from one part to another. Convective mixing is to referred as Macro mixing, shear mixing. In a particulate mass, the forces of the attraction are predominating, which make the layer slip over one another. Such type of attraction forces are predomination among same type of particle. Diffusive mixing. Diffusive mixing occurs at the interface of dissimilar region. Diffusion is sometimes referred to as micro mixing. Factor influencing mixing. Aggregation inhibits proper mixing. This is the first factor. Nature of surface. Density of particle. Particle size. Shape. Particle charge. Proportion of material. Classification of equipment. Based on flow properties of powder, appropriate mixer should be selected. Free flowing solid. V cone blender. Double flow blender. Cohesive solid. Planetary mixer and sigma blender mixer. V cone blender. This is the top diagram of V cone blender. It includes support frame, support frame, vessels, inlet, discharge wall, control panel, motor, and sprocket. Principle of V cone blender is the primary mechanism of blending in a V blender is diffusion. V cone blender is a machine equipped with two inclined cylinder fixed together at an angle 70 degree to 90 degree to form a conical V shape. In the shell, when rotate, material are divided and then mixed together. Construction of an operation. As the V-blender tumbles, the material continuously split and recombines. The mixing occurring as the material free falls randomly inside the vessel. The repetitive coveraging and diverging motion of material combined with increased frictional contact between the material and vessels long, straight side result in gentle yet homogeneous blending. Advantages Charging and discharging of material is easy. V blenders are easy to clean. The absence of shaft projection eliminates product contamination. The shape of blender body result in a near complete discharge of product material clearly an added advantage over horizontal blenders. Disadvantages They require high headroom for installation and operation. 
they are not suited for blending particles of different sizes and densities which may segregate at time of discharge now second part is double clone blender this is the diagram of double clone blender it looks like this principle of double clone blender is double clone blender are most often used for dry blending of free flowing solid the solid being blended in this unit can vary in bulk density and in percentage of total mixture material being blended are constantly being intermixed as the double cone protect normal cycle times are typically in range of 10 minutes however they can be less depending on the difficulty of blending construction the double cone blender is available in different design model and capacity the time a blender taker takes in mixing ingredients will depend upon the nature of ingredient and the mixer you desire this design assist in the gravity discharge and the elimination of dead space different part feeding port barrels helical blades actuating unit machine structure injection system slide butterfly valve intensifier bars fully integrated motor and control coverings injection tip operating system pledge hall and hinged cover working step first preparation of machine and necessary ingredient step 2 programming the machine step 3 blending process step 4 discharge of mixture advantage it is has an attractive structure that is easy to clean and operate the working stability is high and less noisy it has overloading protection that will protect the motor this advantage operating double blender equipment can be daunting task as much as it has a greater capacity you will not use the whole capacity you need to have enough space to place the double cone blender now planetary mixer planetary mixers look like this planetary mixers have two or three multi hinged blade when the paddles are revolution and rotation running at same time then material will flow up and down as well as around the inner cylinder which can reach the mixing effect in a very short time construction the ball of single planetary mixer consists of an upper cylindrical section and lower hemispherical section the planetary mixer is so named because the mixing blade commonly known as beater rotate in planetary motion inside the mixing ball working the agitator has a planetary motion it rotate on its own around the centrical axis so that it reaches all part of the vessel the plate in the blade are sloped so that the powder makes an upward movement therefore convective motion is also obtained advantage It is more useful in wet granulation. Speed can be varied, so it is advantageous over Sigma blade and ribbon type of blender. Uses: Planetary mixer produces precise blend in addition to breaking down of agglomerates rapidly. Uses: Low speed are used for dry blending. Faster speed are used for cleaning action required in wet granulation. Disadvantages: Mechanical heat generated with powder mixer it require high power. Now Sigma blade mixer. Sigma blade mixer look like this in this diagram. Principle: The intermeshing of sigma blade shaped blade create high shear and kneading action. Convective mixing is achieved by the cascading the material. The mechanism of this mixing is the shear. Construction: It consists of double through shaped stationary ball. Two sigma blade pitted horizontally in each throw of the ball. These are connected to fixed speed drive. The mixer is loaded from top and unloaded by the entire ball by means of a rack and pinion rack. Working through the fixed speed drive, the sigma blades are allowed to rotate. They turn toward each other so that powder moves from slide to center of the ball. Therefore, the convective action as well as the shear action can be achieved. Advantage: The mixer create minimum dead space during the mixing. It has close tolerance between ball and blade as well as the bottom of mixer shell. Disadvantage: Sigma blade mixer work at a fixed speed. Now the application of mixing. Mixing is one of the most common pharmaceutical operation. It is involved in many type of formulations. It is intermediate stage in production of several dosage form. In manufacture of tablet, number of additives are added. Therefore, mixing of powder become a essential part of the process. Wet mixing in the granulation step in production of tablet and capsule. Wet mixing is also encountered in pharmacy as an individual operation 
or as a subsequent step after dry blending. Thank you for watching me. If you have any comment or any suggestion, please put in comment box. Thank you very much.